Today's discussion is going to be about secret knowledge and how it influences cult members. Notice Dr. Arthur J. Diekman's statements in speaking about patterns of cult behavior involving secrecy. He says, Secrecy supports cult-like behavior, as we saw in the Life Force group, where the hierarchy was maintained through limiting access to information. Secrecy functions not only to cover up unethical activities from outside eyes, but also to increase authoritarian control over the larger group. By promoting the idea that the leader or the in-group have special information and expertise, they remove themselves from criticism and justify the exclusion of the others from the decision-making process. In the case of religious cults, the special information and expertise is described as divine inspiration or enlightenment. The cult leader's presumed higher state precludes lower beings from judging his or her actions. Similar claims are made in government where special knowledge of the enemy or secret technical information is said to justify decisions that would otherwise be objected to on a moral or even practical grounds. This information can be found in The Wrong Way Home, Uncovering the Patterns of Cult Behavior in American Society, Arthur J. Diekman, M.D., page 145. So the question is, does the Watchtower Society use secret knowledge to influence its members? Well, to begin with, some of you may be aware that in the beginning of 2008, the Watchtower Society changed its distribution of the Watchtower magazine. It was currently being given twice a month to the public. But as of the beginning of 2008, they began having, on the first of every month, the public edition of the Watchtower magazine. Now, what is the opposite of public? Well, if you're thinking private, you wouldn't be off, but the Watchtower Society doesn't call their other Watchtower publications private. They call them study editions. Now, the study edition is not available to the public. Also, the Watchtower Society uses a publication called Organized to Do Jehovah's Will, and this publication is for members only. Then, there's another publication called pay attention to yourselves and to all the flock, which is administered to the overseers or elders only. Notice the title page of this publication, what it states. A copy of this textbook is issued to each appointed elder, and he may retain it as long as he continues to serve as an elder in any congregation. At such time as he should cease to serve in that capacity, his copy of the book must be handed over to the Congregation Service Committee since the publication is congregation property. No copies are to be made of any part of this publication. So, can the public have access to this information that the Watchtower Society uses? Well, next time one of Jehovah's Witnesses comes to your house, ask him or her, her for the study edition of the Watchtower magazine, or ask for a copy of Organized to Do Jehovah's Will, or ask for a copy of Pay Attention to Yourselves and to All the Flock, and watch how Jehovah's Witnesses respond. See if they come back to your house after that. 